Welcome to Bitcoin Privacy with me, Noisy Mouse. In this video, we will be looking at script type heuristic. In addition to our two previous heuristics, script type heuristic assumes the change output has the same script or address type as the input. There are a few different types of scripts, and different scripts will generate different types of addresses. First, we have the legacy pay to public key hash, which has the number one at the start of the address. Then we have SegWit pay to script hash, and their address starts with the number three. Later, native SegWit was introduced, which brought pay to witness public key hash and pay to witness script hash, which both generate addresses that starts with BC1Q. And more recently, pay to taproot was added, and their address starts with BC1P. Okay, theory class is over. Let's take a look at our first transaction example over at OXT. Select the transaction, get the transaction details up, and expand the transaction graph. Input 0 here has the address beginning with BC1Q. Output 0 on the other hand begins with 3. And output 1's address format is the same as the input. According to our heuristic, output 1 should be the change output since they have the same address format. Let's follow the change output to the next transaction. Once again, output 0 address begins with 1, whereas output 1 address matches with the input. Both begins with BC1Q. Third transaction seems to be similar story once again. Let's keep following our subject by selectively expanding the output with matching address type from this point on. It looks like our subject's wallet not only does it send change back to one single address type or being native secret address, it also looks like all the change output is at a fixed position of index 1 and the change output value is always larger than the payment, which makes this entity's transaction history very easy to follow. Let's move to our second transaction example and look at this transaction in isolation. All address type are the same for both the inputs and outputs. If we apply the largest amount output heuristic, we would assume output one is the change output. But with such similar value, this assumption may not be very accurate. If you remember the table from earlier, pay to witness public key hash and pay to witness script hash script both have the same address format. So how do we check the script type of the input and output? Let's move over to bitcoinexplorer.org and examine the same transaction using their block explorer. Here you could see that the script type of each address is labeled next to their index. Input zero has pay to witness public key hash, which is the same as output zero, which according to script type heuristic, output zero should be this transaction's change output. If we enter the same transaction ID into oxt.me, oxt will even let you know this pay to witness script hash address is actually a two of two multi-sec address. This is the end of the video. I hope you have learned something. I will see you in the next one.